Thank you for tuning in to the Wendy Inspire channel and for joining our happy me and me village where everyone belongs. So no matter who you are, how you are, or what you are, you're safe here with us here in our happy me and me village. before we are in the month, month of March. So it's amazing how time flies. They say that time flies when you're having fun. So I guess I'm having oodles and oodles of fun. So this special Thursday segment, I'm gonna talk about competition. And once upon a time, I was one of the most competitive people I've known. So I was extremely competitive. And there was a group that I was a part of that kind of fueled my extreme competitive behavior. And the group that I was a part of basically would love you when you're doing really, really well or when you're giving them what they want. And then the second you're not able or you don't or you can't, they didn't love you. So many people that were in my group at the time were just fighting to feel love or fighting to feel, feel validated. So that was a piece of what fueled my extreme competitive behavior but I can't put it completely on the group I was all I was just naturally competitive I would compete for anything and everything that I can possibly compete for and I would always win and that feeling of always winning that feeling of always hearing your name that feeling of seeing your names in light it started to um, become something that I, I felt that I needed more and more and more so I competed about everything and anything that I can possibly think of and then then as time went on I started to try to figure out what was the root because what we see on the outside it always stems from something else our behavior stems from something else there's a root for everything and anything that we do and anything and everything that we experience. So I started to dig really, really deep and try to figure out what is the root? Like, Wendy, why are you so competitive? Why is it that you always have to win? Why is it that you always have to be on top? And I took a step back and I started to analyze. And I realized that once upon a time when I felt the need to always compete and win, it was because there was something that was lacking within myself. Because how many of us know that confidence is quiet? When you're really confident, when you really know what you have gone for yourself, it's pretty quiet. Most of the insecure people are the loudest people. And I, I started to analyze that and I, I realized that there was something that was lacking within myself to feel like I always had to compete and I always had to win. And I'm so grateful that I got to the point where I realized that nobody can compete with me. There's nobody out there that is my competition and I'm gonna tell you why. There's nobody out there that is my competition because I am uniquely creative. There's not one or there's only one Wendy. Um, there's only one you, there's only one them. And each and every single one of us have like a unique and special gift, a unique and special talent that can never be duplicated, that no one can take away, that no one can outshine because it was created just for us. And when you start to realize that, when you realize that there's only one you, there's a special gift and talent within yourself that no one can take, that no one can duplicate, the desire to compete with others or the desire to stand next to others it just kind of subsides. So I'm so grateful for yet another chain being broken in my life to know that, you know, there's there's no one to compete with and there's no reason to be envious of anyone or to desire their gifts or their talents because I have my own and you have your own. And about three years ago was about the time when I started to really wake up and realize that there's so much more to life than to always compete with someone. And once you truly find peace within yourself, all those other things are less important. 
So I want to share an oath that I created about three years ago. It's called the Happy BME Oath. I have one in my bedroom on the wall and I have one in my office on the wall. And if you're interested in purchasing one for yourself or your children or your loved ones, you can feel free to purchase it uh, at my website, which is www.someonecaresaboutme.com. But I'm going to grab my oath, we'll read it together, and I will see you soon. Be right back. All right, so this is my oath that I created about three years ago. Um... I created it when I really started to wake up and realize that many of the things that I was chasing or many of the things that I thought I need were really not as important as just learning to truly love myself and realizing that I'm, I'm okay just the way I am and I don't have to be what everybody else thinks I should be or be someone that everyone else thinks that I should be, that I should just find that special thing that I have within myself and just really work on nurturing that. Um, so I'm going to read my oath and then we'll go from there. All right, it is the happy being me oath and it reads, I'm happy being me because I was created for a unique purpose that only I can fulfill. I am courageous, wise, and strong. I can do anything I set my mind to do. I have no need to compete with others because we are all given unique opportunities to be successful. If I ever feel the need to compete, I will compete with the person whom I was yesterday. I grow stronger each and every day. I am destined for greatness and I love myself for who and what I am. If I stumble, I will get back up. I will not cease. I will embrace each challenge that I face because it is through my challenges that I find my strength. I am free to be me. All right, guys. So that was my happy being me. Oh, and again, you can purchase your own at someonecaresaboutme.com. And thank you so much for tuning in to the Wendy Inspired channel and for joining our special Thursday segment. If you found that this video touched your life or that would bless someone else, feel free to share it. If you have not already done so, make sure you subscribe and give the video a thumbs up. So I will see you next time this weekend on the Wendy Inspire channel. Make it a great day. Bye.